How about a, an opening statement about the season opening victory? Well, let's let's start. I think the thing I need to do first is thank all the people that are helping try to make this thing happen for our team, um, facilities people, uh, the trainers, um, you know, the administration, and 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 on the way up, all the administration for the whole university. Just because this isn't easy right now, as we all know, just to get games in. We had three games canceled and uh, we're finally able to play your staff too. And I, I got every, all the people that, that helped get this thing going. We, we scheduled the game on Saturday and, uh, or Sunday, and we weren't even sure if we were gonna play until this morning. So uh, just happy to get a chance to, to compete against somebody else. Uh, I, you know, it, we, we won by a lot. I didn't think we played great, but you know what? It's the first time so many of these guys have played basketball in such a long time that uh, I'm just happy we got a chance to, to play and to compete and uh, to get on the floor and represent our school and our program. Well, thank you, Coach. Much appreciated. Uh, let's open the floor up to questions. Owen, I know you're pulling uh, double duty with the Kent State and TV, too, so why don't you lead us off? Yeah, so, um, you know, just to start out, uh, Coach, congrats on the win. And it's a little crazy to see a game in which you had six points in the first almost seven minutes, and then you finish with 90. Yeah. How, how'd you overcome that slow start and really get the team moving? Yeah, I think we just struggled first half. You know, we, we, we had a lot of jitters, it seemed like, and I don't think we really moved the ball the way we needed to early on. You know, shot a lot of early quick threes. I think as the game wore on, we got a little bit more comfortable, got guys in, and then got the next set of guys going and uh, got guys back in the game. And I thought we played a much more complete uh, game, you know, from that point forward. Uh, and with so many new guys playing, um, so many of them look so good. 17 points from Nuga. Uh, O'Neal looked really dominant on the boards. Um, so dominant, I almost overlooked Hamilton having uh, 14 rebounds. Was there any of the any of the new guys specifically who really stood out for you really well? Yeah, really, it was Gabe because uh, I thought in the first half, you know, he, he the gym's empty, so you can't hear anyone. But I heard Gabe the whole time, and you know, I felt like you know he he didn't play a ton of minutes, but he was very productive. But more importantly, I thought he brought tremendous tremendous energy. Um, and I thought it uplifted the group. And I think that's that's what you need out of a number of guys. But him in particular, and we had a lot of guys, again, you, you say new, and they're almost all new. Justin Hamilton, Mike Nugent, Malik Jacobs, Gabe, Jerry, Vaughn, James, <laughs> TK. You know, those guys are all new. So it's almost everybody. Um, and they all had some moments uh, of doing really good stuff. But the guy that, to me, stood out in terms of just his overall energy and, and competitive spirit, you know, to me was Gabe. And I think in doing that, he, he was able to be very productive. Just to, to give some, some love to some of the, you know, guys who have been around a little longer. I thought that from, from where I was sitting, it seemed like uh, Danny and Gio were both also pretty active, pretty vocal leaders. Were you happy with how they, uh, in this game specifically, kind of helped direct the guys and just... Yeah. I thought, you know, Danny's a senior and, and in a lot of ways, our team's going to go the way he goes. Um, he didn't shoot the ball very well today, but he did a lot of other things. He had three assists, one turnover, two steals, two blocks. So he did a number of other things. Well, um, four offensive rebounds. So, you know, he did a number, number of other things. Well, and I think Gio in general has done a really good job, you know, throughout the preseason and now, uh, that we're playing, just being consistent and and sort of playing to his strengths and trying not to do too much, um, but also doing things when they're needed. So um, I thought he did a nice job. Uh, one last one for me, and then I'll kind of let Alan, I'll stop uh, bogarting the conversation. I'm sorry, Alan. Uh, you forced 24 turnovers, only had 10 yourself. Uh, how, you know, that's just a, a dominant turnover ratio. Yeah. What, what do you attribute that to? Just well, the, we, we have much more depth than they did. And, and in doing that, we were able to compete on the basketball. 
Um, you know, we put a lot of number, a number of guys in there that were able to, to compete and do some things, uh, pressure the ball and, you know, get some gap steals and gap turnovers. So there was a lot of good things with that in terms of creating turnovers and getting steals. Um, you know, we, we, they had seven steals against us, which is probably, you know, too many, um, but you know what, first game and, and just trying to get the rust off and get an opportunity to play. It's been such a long time since we've done that. And, uh, glad these guys got a chance to go out there and do that against, against another team. Well, thank you, Owen, uh, Alan for the record courier, I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, Rob, um, just talk about, you know, you guys have been in this situation several times, like you mentioned, what was it like this morning when you actually realized you were going to get to play? Yeah, I know I was, I, I was, I was happy to play. I mean, we, we've practiced so many times. Again, a lot of places have had shutdowns, you know, due to COVID having to have pauses. And that's obviously not good for your team. And it makes it difficult for you. But it's also difficult to practice, 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 practice with no games in sight. And when we've had the disappointment of, you know, Cleveland State, we knew – with enough time and we replaced that game. We replaced it with uh, Northern Kentucky in, in a few weeks uh, or in a week and a half. But when you play, getting ready to play Alcorn State and that Saturday is when you find out the game's not being played. You say, okay, then we're gonna go play Monday. And Sunday evening at nine o'clock or 10 o'clock, we find out that game's not gonna be played. We're not sure about this game because it's hard to get it all organized. And we had to test and go through our testing that we've been doing and they had to, go through their testing and make sure they were uh, where they needed to be. So um, it's just not easy when you don't know, and there's a lot of uncertainty. It's just not easy for your players. So uh, to be able to come out and finally get a chance to play against somebody else, I, I think is really, really good for our guys. And now we got to grow and get better. That's really the bottom line. We got to grow and get better as a group. That that's, that's the, that's the bottom line on this. And I, I hope, and I expect us to be a much better team uh, in January and February than we are right now. But we have a long way to go. And, and today is a good start. And it's great to get out there to play somebody. But now we've got to, okay, pick up on some of the things we, we did or didn't do well and improve in the areas we need to improve in. Okay. Yeah, this last one, I know from talking to you, um, and I understand the, the opponent here, but um... – you know, just being a physical team, rebounding, those are the kinds of things you were a little bit concerned with going yeah. in. Obviously, you passed the, the first test here. Really yeah, well and, 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 and absolutely. And we had 22 offensive rebounds. That's a that's a great number. Um, Justin Hamilton, Danny Pippen, uh, Gabe O'Neal, you know, those guys combined, are, those, those three guys combined for 16. James Jordan is a guy that we really want to offensive rebound, and he had two. So we, we did some nice stuff there. Um, and, and we did force a lot of turnovers, which I thought was really, really good. Um, you know, the, the ball movement, we need to do a better job with that offensively. And, and I thought we tried to get assists, but we got to make sure that we're really getting some assisted baskets. Um, but again, first time we played, and, and I think as I went through and Going through, okay, Justin Hamilton knew, Mike Nugan knew, Malik Jacobs knew. That's three starters. First two guys coming off the bench were Gabe and Jerry. That's five guys. And then the rest of the bench outside of Evan, you know, and Kalen, who played some limited minutes late, every person that goes in has – they don't understand. They don't, they don't understand. So um, you, you got to go through it to understand it. And, you know, again, hopefully today – can open some eyes and okay, these are the things I got to do to get better. And these are the things we have to do to get better. And um, then we can continue to grow as a group. And I thought this was a good first game, no exhibitions, no scrimmages. It's hard. And we practiced for so long. So it's good to get out there and play somebody. And, and then obviously now we play Friday uh, against an opponent that's, you know, a top, top 10. I think they're ranked 19th right now, but, I think preseason they were fourth in the country. They had a, you know, they had one of those moments where they struggled, but an elite, elite team next. And then we played two teams that are, that are similar to, you know, our, our conference teams in Detroit and uh, 
Northern Kentucky, and we'd like to try to find another game if we could prior to league play. Last call here for questions. Just one more quick one. Uh, Coach, do you think that this, this game was uh, a sign of more to come from Mike Nuga? Do you think that he's uh... – He's a good scorer. He's a, he's, he's a really good scorer, and he's, he's actually shot over 40% from three in, uh, in practice. So, uh, you know, the fact that he was one for six is, is surprising. I have to look and see. You know, I thought most of the shots that we took for the day – from three were good. We just didn't seem to make them, but um, he, he's a really, really good scorer and he plays very, very hard. So uh, I do expect him to continue to do some really good things for us this year. And, and we'll need him to, to compete really, really hard uh, on both sides of the floor. And, uh, and then obviously I do think he's an elite shooter who just didn't shoot it very well tonight. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Awesome. Coach, congratulations on the win and on to Virginia. Great. Thank you, guys.